know, what's the best spacing for my crop? And that really depends on kind of what you're growing and what the objective is. If you're trying to germinate a field, you know, closer is often better. If you're in kind of a light to medium uh, ground, uh, you know, closer is is good as well. And I just wanted to kind of talk about a study that was done years ago, and they compared two different drip. Uh, this is the same flow rate, but one is an eight inch and one is a 16 inch. And this is on a medium silt loam soil. And they measured after each hour how long it took for basically the two circles to come together. And you can see within five hours on the eight inch, uh, you had 100% of a wetted front where you've got these two circles that have come together. On a 16 inch, you can see it took 12 hours. And even, you know, we had kind of timed out on the study and these had still not yet come together. So the, the ideal option is you you want to create kind of a wetted band and uh so after five hours if you go to maybe six eight hours you've created a, a complete band of water it's pretty impressive when you're trying to germinate a crop and you can see that you've uh, you wetted the entire bed maybe just past the the seed line so it uh you know trying to figure out the right spacing and the right flow um is uh it's important and just uh uh, was impressed. T tape has made the investment uh, all the way from four inches up to, I think, 24 inches and everything in between.